It was a uh, synergy, really, that uh, that led me to EPF. Um, I had been in uh, in SFP for nearly ten years, and uh, and I was looking for a new professional challenge. And then this amazing job became available, and this amazing organization that I've known for a very long time, and. Um, uh, it it seemed to me that um, it was exactly the the sort of thing that I would have wanted to do. Um, in my professional life, I really was passionate about a few things, and uh, tobacco control was one of them. Uh, but patient advocacy was another one of them. And uh, it was just so incredible to have the chance to apply for exactly the one topic that I had loved in my in my uh, professional life that I hadn't yet uh, gotten to do. So it was really exciting and I'm very, very happy to be joining EPF. I've grown a lot in SFP. Um, uh, I've grown as an advocate uh, because I've had the chance to do um, to to be part of a of a massive campaign to improve tobacco control uh, legislation in Europe. Um, and the fact that we were able to win uh, on on uh, mandatory pictorial warnings on on packs and to have been part of that uh, is is really something that I'm very, very proud of. Um, I've also learned a lot about how to be a manager, how to manage an organization, how to manage a board, how to manage uh, a team. I'm very proud of having built the team that I've worked uh, with as a as a director in, e in SFP. And, um, uh, and I am also very proud of having um, gain the trust and the friendship of so many people in the tobacco control and the public health community. Um, they've been amazing. So I'm bringing all of that, um, all of that pride and all of that learning. And uh, I think a lot of it have um, has contributed to shaping me as a leader. And um, I'm so, so grateful for it. And I really hope to bring all the best of it to to EPF and, and sort of help grow along the, the amazing team that I'm joining in EPF. I hope to tackle issues not just as executive director at, at TPF, but as part of the team, as part of the EPF community, uh, with the members, with the team. Um, so that, that has to be said, right? And um, what it is that I, um, I'm looking forward to tackling is, well, the elephant in the room, obviously, the, the pandemic uh, recovery and, and sort of learning from how this, uh, these last two years have affected the lives of patients, of existing patients, um, how so many people became patients as a, as a result of the pandemic, and how the health systems have or have not coped with, uh, with the urgency of care. Um, so I hope to to work within our community to learn from these to 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 bring that experience into actionable um, actionable learnings, and uh, um, and to reshape health systems in a way that is more equitable, that is more inclusive, and where the voice of the patients is really heard. We we are we should be a key a key influencer for uh, for health policies in in this year and in future years. It's part of our uh, mission. It's part of our strategic plan. Um, and now I was not involved in designing the the EPF strategic plan, but I have to say, reading it, uh, it was an additional reason for me to want this job because I really subscribe to to what is trying to achieve for patients in uh, in Europe. And um, I, I think the voice of patients uh, matters more than ever, or it should matter more than ever. 
Uh, and so I believe that our members, our community uh, can be a key factor to influence um, health policies. Now, I'm also well aware, you know, and we, we all are, that um, there still is a lot of political energy to be spent on the pandemic recovery. Um, but we should be there alongside policymakers, um, alongside uh, healthcare providers, alongside all the stakeholders in, in healthcare systems to, to make sure that all of this actually works for wh whomever it is designed for, and that is patients. <laughs> I see the role as of a of a team leader as support for the team as um, as protecting the integrity of the team, um, each individual, but also the team in itself. I also see it um, not just in the sense of you know that the EPF secretariat we're very important, obviously. <laughs> But uh, uh, but there's a broader community there. So um, I know there is already a lot of mutual support and there's a lot of cooperation and there's a lot of um, caring about uh, about each other. So I'm going to work uh, with with everyone to build on that and um, and uh, be part of a of a formidable team, uh, and I'll keep saying team, 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 because uh, I, I I I really think that it's a way to to achieve amazing things and have fun uh, together. Um, there's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't have fun while we're doing the important work we're doing. <laughs>